Hey, what's up guys? I do by Self here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about iOS 12.4.8. 8. 12.4.8, of course, is a software that was released for devices that are not capable of running iOS 13. Now we've seen Apple do this in the past where they continue to update iOS 12 with the latest security patches and improvements. This is of course good for all users running iOS 12 because of course you have all of the latest security updates that Apple can provide for those users. Now today in this video we're also going to be talking about iOS 12 or iOS 14 uh, beta 3 and expected release date for that beta. We'll get to that here in a few seconds. But first up if we go to Apple's website and the latest updates for iOS 12 if we browse over to the latest update released yesterday 12.4.8 when we click on it apple doesn't really provide any information to protect customers but this could be pertaining some of the latest exploits discovered to jailbreak ios 12 although those devices can still be jailbroken apple is putting a lot of the security patches in place to protect customers running ios 12 so 12.4.8 definitely released yesterday for all devices capable of running iOS 12 and are not capable of updating to iOS 13. So if you have an iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, those devices need to be updated to have the latest security patches. And I'm happy to see Apple continuing to do this because that means you will still be able to use those older devices and feel like those security patches, much needed security patches, will be in place. But let's talk about iOS 14 developer beta 3 and expected release date. Of course, there's a few things that Apple has yet to address with iOS 14 features that we're still expecting Apple to release. And I know a lot of you guys are excited about iOS 14 and what Apple will be uh, releasing in the near future. So if history is any indication, let's go back here into the actual calendar. We saw Apple release, of course, a beta 1 for iOS 14 on June 22nd at WWDC. Two weeks and a day later, on July 7th, we saw beta 2, and then we saw a public beta later after that. So that means that if history is any indication and Apple continues on a two weeks release cycle for new betas in iOS 14, we can expect iOS 14 beta 3 to be released on the week of the 20th. So on the 20th, all that week, we can expect on the 21st or 22nd, the next beta for iOS 13, or iOS 14 rather, iOS 14 beta 3. Now there's still a few things that I'm waiting Apple to enable with iOS 14. Number one is the ability to set default applications or third-party applications as default. Now when you click on a link in iOS, it brings you straight to Safari. If you click on an address that someone may send you and opens in Apple Maps, Apple will now give you the ability to reroute those links to different applications, not necessarily Apple Apps. So if you get a message with an address, you can open directly Google Maps. Is that your preference? You can reroute default applications with iOS 14. Apple has yet to enable that. And that will most likely be coming with iOS 14 beta 3. And I can't wait to get my hands on the software. Of course, Apple will be continuing to release a ton of improvements, changes to the UI. But in terms of new features, we can expect Apple to release those uh, remapping of default applications with the next beta and hopefully maybe additional changes to control center and behaviors within the OS as well. If you want more details of some of the things that still need to be addressed with iOS 14, I do have an entire video on that. You can check it out. Links will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you real soon. Peace.